611 now, one superhero film is enjoying a big opening weekend. So this is my vow. Oh God, she'll die. WTOP's John Aaron talked about Thor Love and Thunder with Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World. All right, John, coming in with lightning and thunder this weekend. Super excited. Thor is back. We last saw him in Avengers Endgame, where he heads off into the galaxy, into the universe with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, but we find him now in this new film, Thor Love and Thunder, finding that he needs to help his people on New Asgard that's back on Earth. There's a character by the name of Gore the God Butcher that says gods must die. And so he's going after all the gods Yeesh. and he needs to get back to his people. He needs to help the Asgardians. He's Gore's taking the children. You don't take the kids. And so uh, that leads into this amazing new adventure called Thor Love and Thunder. All of our returning cast is back. Chris Hemsworth, you have to have him. Uh, Natalie Portman, a.k.a. Jane Foster. If you've seen uh, some of the reviews already, there's a lot of humor, something for everybody in this. And you're going to need it because there's a very heavy part of the storyline as well. So it's well balanced and also surprising as Zeus who makes an appearance in this, Russell Crowe as the Greek god Zeus. It's a fun ride. I love the film, and everybody should check it out this weekend because Thor is back, y'all. All right. You also have a romantic comedy you want to tell us about. What's that? Oh, yes, yes. Mr. Malcolm's List. If you are a fan of especially this latest season of Bridgerton, um, we have a new romantic comedy set in 19th century England. Uh, it stars Zawi Ashton as Juliet this way. That's her character. Uh, she's jilted by London's most eligible bachelor, uh, Mr. Malcolm, played by Sope Duriso. So uh, she decides to enact a little plan. Let me get an old friend of mine, played by Frida Pinto, to be his ideal match and then twist it back on him because she was rejected. It's it's very smart. It's very witty. Uh, I, I really enjoy it, it i'm not uh one of those guys that really are into those british comedies but my wife is and i found myself actually really having a great time i also want to say that i had the amazing opportunity to speak with zawe ashton theo james uh some of the cast of the film and that's available on the uh nerds rule the world new release wednesday youtube channel uh great conversations with them but highly recommend again that's kuya p of nerds rule the world with us on skype 